Hey everybody, Solar World out coming to you guys with a brand new Let's Play. Crash Bandicoot 2 and Trance from the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. Yes, this is a sequel to a game that I actually did on my channel a while ago, you know. Crash Bandicoot the Huge Adventure, deep in the heart of hyperspace. That incompetent neocortex. He cannot do anything right. His last scheme to shrink the Earth failed miserably. You have been a great asset to the cause of evil over the years, Entropy. Thank you, my lord. That is why I trust you with the task of aiding me in universal domination. Great Uka Uka, I am honored, and I have the perfect scheme. Oh, okay, apparently we just start right into the game. Now, hang on a second. I have to answer a message. I'll be home before you know it. I am so sorry about the text message, guys. But yeah, anyways, this... Yeah, so you can A and A again to double jump. You can B to tornado spin. You can brush R to crouch and then jump to hide up. And then while running, you can press R to slide. Yes, 100 Wump of Fruit equal life, by the way, guys. For those who didn't know that. So yeah, it's kind of cool, I guess. Um, it's been a while since I did a crash game. I guess it's been half a year, I should say. Yes, jump on them. It counts down three seconds just to strand. Is there like a spot where why can I run in there for a second? Allow me to harness powers of time and space to peer into the future. Of course, since those wretched bandicoots keep thwarting us, the solution is to get them on our side, and I know just the fellow for the job. A new recruit? Indeed. Meet my secret weapon. I am Entrance, master of hypnotism. Meanwhile... Crash, help! Crash, wake up. Coco and Crunch have been abducted. Find me a power crystal so I can look into what's going on. Hurry! Okay, checkpoint. Yay. And Aku Aku Mask, which allows us to gain more power. Well, that allows us to take an extra. Yeah, press R in the air to destroy those crates that are armored. The crash heads are extra lives. Kind of obvious in most games. Most lives are somehow resemble the main character of the game, you know? Oh god, this is the music that I always hum and bug my girlfriend. Do do. Do 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 Oh yeah, these ones. They destroy- they turn to solid steel if you don't destroy them quickly enough. Boom! Ooh, a gem. Not bad. Oh no! Watch out, Crash! I've got you, Crash! Something's holding on to Crash. We need more power! This vortex must be the work of entropy! I finally captured that infernal bandicoot! Ooh, weird. I finally got all you obnoxious bandicoots. Would you do the honors entrance? With pleasure! Somewhere else in hyperspace. That took almost all my power I had, Crash. Good job getting the power crystal before you were pulled into the vortex. But I'll need a lot more crystals if we are to put an end to Entropy's plans. That floating island up ahead will allow us to go to different worlds and find crystals. Hopefully we can find Coco and Crunch and stop Entropy. Okay, save and continue on this file. Uh, let's do... Prince of Persia, you know, joke on Prince of Persia. Woohoo! Okay, so 29 boxes in this level. Ah, uh, these are actually from Crash Bandicoot 3, which I've yet to do on my channel, like these style levels. Um, if you guys can figure out how to get me the emulator to work properly, I will happily play uh, the third one for you guys. Because I know you guys... I know how much you guys love my Crash... Uh, Spyro and Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Plays. Those are probably my most popular. Kirby's not too bad on my channel either. Same with Ratchet and Clank, but it takes them a few months to get decent views. And I mean like 20 views. Still don't really get that many views. And we found a green gem, which I believe is actually just a shard. This one, you can find gems of the same color multiple times. It's not like the other Crash games where... Like, there's only one green gem, only one purple gem, you know. In this game, there's shards of gems. Which is, which is kind of interesting. Can't really complain about that, but... There's one level that I dread in the first world so much. 
And you guys will figure that out later, why I hate it so much. And bonus warp pad, let's go. Let's get that actually lift you off, don't teleport you, cool. So we have 12 bonus, uh, 12 crates in the bonus world. So bonus world isn't really much of a bonus, it's just an easier way to get Wampa Fruit, some of the boxes you need to get the gem, and I guess like extra lives, did I say extra lives, extra lives, crates, uh, Wampa Fruit, so yeah, pretty much nothing overly fancy, I, I, w I would say. And this one is technically the first level of the game, so it's going to be fairly easy, not that difficult. Um, also, I keep thinking I'm forgetting to say something, but I guess it, I guess I can say if you collect three Aku Akus, you become invincible. That's literally the first level. We have to save after every level. Oh, Globe Trot, and that's the level I'm fearing. So it's not that it's hard; it's just long, very, very long. So let's go to Laguni Tunes. Crush, in this water world, you will need to use your wakeboard to collect the power crystal. The waters are guarded by a vicious shark, so be careful. You can hold down B to go faster, to avoid, you know, taking damage by the shark. Hey, now we're invincible, so the shark cannot hurt us even if he tried to. Shark can also destroy the crates. Um, if I miss... Yeah, um... I'll come back to these ones and get the crates off screen, just because they can be annoying to get. Like the hitbox detection is just so awful in this. Like, look at that! I wasn't even touching that box and they destroyed it. This is how weird the hitbox is on this. Yeah, seagulls are actually bad and will carry a crash away, which I thought was kind of funny. And same as that one too. Hurry up, go through the seaweed, man. Oh, that, that tried tricking me. Darn it. See, that one you need to abuse the shark's power to do. It. Whoa. Ah, oh, we're invincible again. You. Yeah. Crash Bandicoot for the win. Run! Oh, you're supposed to destroy that, but whatever. We only missed three boxes. Oh, not really that bad, actually. Did better than I thought. Anyways, let's do Pharaoh's Funhouse, which has a red gem in it. I don't know if you can get all the gems right away. Um, most Crash games, you do have to do a little bit of backtracking, kind of like Spyro and stuff. And, oh, looks like we're invincible again. So yeah, this is gonna be it's gonna be easy to stay invincible then. Yeah, these levels, these pyramid levels were also in Crash 3, just a uh, heads up. So if it kind of spoils like on some of the levels in Crash 3, I do apologize. There is no third Crash Game Boy game though. Um, the closest thing we have is Crash Purple Cortex Conspiracy. Cortex Conspiracy? No. Uh, the Ripto 1. Whoa, what the fudge sickles was that? Um, but it's like a crossover of mini games. I was actually gonna record that one first before this game, but eh, I don't know. Like the game is just really, really bad. It's not fun at all. Like I'll play it eventually for those who actually want to see it, but I'm not looking forward to playing it for you guys. So just, just remember that. Boom, boom. Random crocodiles that can jump up via pits in the ground, because that makes absolute sense, right? Hey, it looks like we're back outside. I like being outside, and that's the Cortex. Even though Cortex isn't in this game, like, I think they forgot that when they made some of the level design. They literally made 2D versions of Crash um, 3 stuff. And in doing so, well... Oh, darn it. Um, and in doing so... They made it so Cortex looks like he's like a villain in this game. Cortex isn't even in this game. I believe it's the only Crash game ever to not have Cortex as one of the villains. And even like the weird game, uh, GameCube games and stuff have him as a villain. So plus new villains, but whoa, yeah. So watch out for those blocks. They can not only crush you, they can push you off the ledge. Okay, looks like we're gonna need these. This is a lot of boxes to hop across. Seems 
It's kind of weird to have it like that, but it's another level beaten. Wicked! So yeah, now we can't go down. So now we have to do the level Globetron, which I will do in the next episode. I do apologize if this is a short episode. The game is not very long, guys. I repeat, the game is not very long. So we'll probably have shorter parts, span it out a few episodes. So anyways, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and today's playlist that I want you guys to check out is going to be Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. See you guys next time.